Hello, my beautiful Scorpio dragons. Welcome to your reading for mid-April. So let's see what energy comes out for you. I've already pre-done these cards just um, to save time. Okay, so we have Breathe, Truth Be Told, and Enchanting Gifts. So I feel that there is a truth coming out. It's almost like you're just sort of not sure what to do and you're just being told, right, to breathe. There is something coming out. There is some sort of truth coming to you or you are going to be saying your truth and maybe that's why you're having to breathe. But there is something that's going to be happening and I hear that it's going to be a happy exchange. Um, I'm not getting a very heavy, deep energy, thank goodness. So let's go ahead and see what's happening with Scorpio. Let's get some clarification, please. Please clarify what's happening with Scorpio. Or, woo, mid-April, whoa. Uh, okay, so let's see what's happening. Um, also, guys, just so you know, when I read, um, I don't read gender, male, female. It's energy. Everybody is comprised of masculine and feminine energies. So it doesn't matter um, what gender you are identify with while you're watching this. So just sort of take it as it is, okay? So we have the Nine of Chalices, which is the Nine of Cups. We have the Hangman, the Knight of Chalices, and the Queen of Swords. You have a... Uh, it's almost like you have... Um, I, I think that you, you, okay, let me just get a grab of what this is because I have it in my head. Just give me a second. Okay, guys, just bear with me. The hangman in reverse is sort of not being able to see things. The nine of chalices is really holding, um, uh, you know, like happiness and success. And it's like everything that you want. And I think that what it is, is I think that when the hangman is in reverse, so it, it, it's almost like you're not satisfied with something. Okay. Um, you need to sort of, I think that you really do need to change your idea of what you perceive happiness is. And you have the knight of chalices and the queen of swords. Now this energy is a very like romantic one. Um, or, it's, um, it could be your idea of what marriage should be or a commitment of some sort, even if it's just friends. Okay. It's, um, but I think that you have like, you're holding on really tight to what your idea of something is. And definitely with the queen of swords. Now this could be another person, but this is also, um, very intelligent. Like, I think that you might almost have a too, um, narrow, idea of what, um, sort of a relationship is. It could be, maybe you were hurt in the past and you really have like just these really, you have boundaries, but it's almost like they're created out of pain. Um, so it's more of a, a protection rather than a, um, a boundary, which should be sort of a little bit more fluid. Okay. Now, not to say that you drop your boundaries, but it's just like, no, this is the way it has to be. And it's stopping you from actually seeing something, right? So truth be told. So let's see. Yeah, we have the star. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. So the star is about having um, like the calm after the storm. This is... <sighs> This is, I, I feel that you may actually be connecting with somebody on a much deeper level. Um, I think you're very afraid of losing your independence um, with this, right? So you're like, no, but I'm just happy being me. I don't want anybody else in here. I've spent so much time creating this awesome space that I have. I just don't want anybody else, right? Like I do want somebody, but only to hear right? And you have your ace of swords in reverse. So this is, um, just about sort of like mental blocks, right? Like I'm, I'm hearing that you're sort of blocking yourself from something more because of all of this energy. Am I making sense, Scorpio? Let's get more cards. Leave me a comment, guys, if this is you guys. 
say hi. Whew. Like, subscribe, please. Let's see. Oh. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, I feel like you need to release yourself from all the heaviness that you carry from the past. Um, I think that you need to maybe realize, and, and here's the thing, a lot of times when relationships fail, we sort of turn to ourselves and say, well, what did I do wrong? What's wrong with me, right? And those are the people that it, it's good, right? It's good that you're going to search to see what you did. But you know what? Sometimes if you are dealing with a really bad person, they go after you simply because you're good and caring. And the thing is, is what these people do, I was just having this conversation with a friend of mine who's getting really, really attacked badly by somebody, not even a romantic relationship. Um, and, um, and I'm like, these people just latch on because they're so unhappy with themselves. They latch on to the kindness of others. And A, because they want to destroy it, because they aren't it and they can't be it, right? So it's, it's, it's such a bad energy. So anyways, you need to realize that this isn't your battle, right? Look, you have judgment and temperance. Oh my gosh, look at this. So you're going to be having this big, you know what, this big aha moment. Maybe watching this reading is going to be your aha moment, right? And you're going to be like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to play these games anymore. Why am I still letting this person rule my mind, rule my life, right? Ruin my life, right? And, and you're going to have patience with yourself. And I think that that's the greatest gift that you can give yourself is patience. You're letting things slowly um, balance out right? So you're having, um, uh, you're just learning. Okay. And you're just learning about yourself and you're turning the bad into the good, right? So you're letting things just balance. Let's see what this card is. Yeah. The four of swords, you just need to make sure this is recovering. Okay. You're going to be recovering from all of this pain beautiful card to have there. Okay. Um, and you, you just guys, you just be kind with yourself. I hear that you're so kind with everybody else, but you're just lacking with the kindness towards yourself. Okay. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and get some cards. Oh, oh, well, I don't want all that. So can I just get one more, please? One more? Whoa, okay. So, oh my gosh. And what flew out? Healing heart. Go figure. Hand of cards, love. Yeah, so um, the hand of cards is about taking a chance, right? Um and again, it's not about showing your hand. So I think this is where you're sort of at is you're sort of going out there, but you're not showing who you truly are, right? And it's it's about love. You need to have unconditional love for yourself. You're healing yourself from heartbreak, okay? You're freeing yourself from the toxicity of some sort of relationship, some sort of addiction. You are working on you. And this is a beautiful beautiful reading. My beautiful Scorpio dragons, please do like and subscribe and keep going. Keep healing. Okay. I'll see you in your next reading.